All right, let's be quick about this. Soft boxes. You all have an idea about how soft boxes work, right? And today's video is all about white soft boxes and silver soft boxes. I know there are lots of videos out there talking about how they all work and how you can use them and the major differences in all of them, right? But the idea is to show you how I will use it in the studio, coupled with the new journey I'm taking, shooting with LEDs. So if you've seen my Instagram one time, I mentioned I was going to explore shooting with LED lights. And I think this is the start of that particular journey. And I mean, I, I hope it's an easy road. I hope I get swayed into using more LEDs than strobes. That's beside the point, right? Today's video, I'm going to have pinpointed discussion points. And in no particular order, I think we'll look at contrast differences. You're going to look at um, diffusion differences. You're going to look at color cast differences. And also, I think there's one particular one I keep on forgetting. When I remember, I'll mention it. But yeah, so we're going to use, like I said, LED lights, two lights for sure, a backlight and a key light. And I'm going to be using the photo box by Photoplace from Photoplace, right? The 85 centimeter rice bowl beauty dish. And I'll show you the differences between the white inner lining and the silver inner lining. You know, before I start shooting, I am going to talk about some things you need to have in place when you're shooting with LED lights. You have to make sure you turn off any ambient lights in the room, right? Usually in my studio, I turn on these silly lights to flood the place just so that I can have like more light to do whatever it is I have to do in the studio. I mean, for the video aspect. But today, because I'm just using LED lights, I'm going to kill all of them, make sure nothing is influencing the lights coming in from the LEDs I'll be using today. I hope to mention the LEDs I'll be using today also. As I've already mentioned, the boxes I'll be using. I'm, I'm just going to say this to you guys. When it comes to silver soft boxes, right? You're looking at specular highlights as compared to white boxes, which you're looking at diffused highlights. So there's mostly that easy transition between highlights into shadows. And I think that's what people are terming as soft lights. But no, that's way totally different. Soft lights, and I've mentioned in my previous videos about how you can achieve soft lighting and all that. So just make sure you check those videos out. I'm going to link them up here. I think here or here. Either one of them works. So figure it out. I have no idea. I'm here because you need me. Because I miss you guys so much. I know you guys have been wanting to have me back on your screen, so I'm here solely because of you. Well, not even Joey. You, eh? <laughs> So, yeah. So, we are coming to do a little drama here. Hopefully, you like it. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like. And it's your favorite girl, Lemony. So, see you. Today, Lemon is on break, so it's Peach Girl. I hope you guys like it. If not, I can wear green, you know, I don't mind. What do you think? Bye. You see the... All right, guys, this is Teresa. Please say hi to them here. Right, I'm going to link her handle down in the description box below. Do you want followers? I don't think you do, or do you? I mean, do you want followers? Do you want people to come and follow your page? Yeah, everybody wants followers. Right, so I mentioned earlier I was going to use LEDs. Currently on my left, to camera left, I have around 100D in the silver inner line and 85 centimeter rice bowl, soft box from Photo Please. I have the G Metal light behind Teresa and also another 85 centimeter soft box, but that one is the white inner lining. I want to have the differences between the silver and the white inner lining that's why i started with the silver right and the first thing i want to talk about is from the point i mentioned in no particular order so i'm going to start with the contrast levels when it comes to the silver boxes usually they do have a lot of contrast as compared to the white boxes so i'm going to show you that difference real time here in the studio 
so i have my f-stop at 2.8 i have my iso at 400 shutter speed 1 over 160 and the amran 100d at full blast so says that please send your head this way beautiful just so that the light can hit you so when we talk about contrast we are looking at when we talk about contrast we are always looking at the differences between your highlights and your shadows right so if there's a vast difference if there's a major difference that's how come you see contrasty images Sorry. That's how come you see contrasty images to be that contrasty. I mean, the word itself is supposed to depict a difference. So it's a diff the difference between your highlights and your shadows. So there's ample amounts of highlights, there's ample amounts of shadows. I'm glad there's some specularity in there. We'll talk about that very soon. So to take the picture, this is the first image I'm going to take. Can you turn your head towards the light? Yeah, great, beautiful. I made sure to feather the light and angle the light just so that I can have some Rembrandt lighting being created on the other side of the cheek. Turn down, turn down, too much. Yeah, and open your lips a little bit. Yeah, beautiful. okay so now that you see the contrast i'm going to quickly switch to the white box just so that i see the difference please keep the same position for me all right let me put this here All right, so to quickly switch to the white inner diffusion, I am seeing a vast difference, right? With respect to the contrast, there's a dial down difference. Let me compare before and after, right? Eventually, when we talk about color casting photography, we are always referring to the color tint or color bias that light can introduce into an image. Different light sources can emit light with varying color temperatures, which can result in a shift in the colors of the subjects or scenes being photographed. So when we take both the white soft boxes and the silver line soft boxes, in terms of color cast, you see minimal to no color cast in the white soft boxes because it preserve the true colors as you'll be seeing in today's images as compared to the silver line soft boxes the color cast introduced there might give you a slight cool tint to the light hence seeing that bluish feel on your image i mean you can creatively go ahead with this bluish tint or go into post processing by using white balance or color correction method to fix this color problem so i enjoy using the white soft boxes a lot as compared to the silver soft boxes so yeah this is the major difference when it comes to color cast between the white inner line soft boxes and the silver line soft box. i made sure to have two models of different skin tones just so that you can see how the light plays on each and every one of them we are currently working with the white inner diffusion and i'm going to take the same picture with a lovely model here turn, turn your face this way yeah, this beautiful close your eyes for me chin up a little bit open your lips chin down a little bit yeah and that works so in terms of the diffusion I mean, people keep on saying soft lighting, soft lighting. The soft lighting comes from how close the box is to my subject. 
But what I think people mean is a diffusion coming from this. The white gives a softer, or should I use the appropriate word? The white gives a diffused highlight as compared to the silver. So this is a difference I'm going to show quickly. I'll switch back to the silver just so that you see that diffused highlights look. So you're going to keep that look you did over there with your eyes closed and all that, right? All right, so can we, let's do that again. Close your eyes, beautiful. Three, two, one. One last time. Perfect. So if we compare and contrast the two images, we can clearly tell that the silver gives more specular highlights. As you can see the highlights around her right shoulder, that specularity over there. You can also see it on her eyelids, her lips. Then we go to the diffused one and see less specularity and more easy transitioning of the shadows. So these, these are the major differences you can get from using the silver and the white inner reflective soft boxes. And these are the ones you're getting from photo please and currently i'm seeing a major difference as compared to you know when it comes to the color temperature the white gives more of a warm feel as compared to the silver which gives more of a cold looking image i mean all this can be fixed in post so you guys i forgot to mention the camera was using we are blocking the lights see can't you see the light I forgot the camera i forgot to mention the camera i was using I'm using an EOS R and a 50mm f1.8 SCM lens adapted with a Canon adapter ring. Uh, today I did. That's not part of the rig. You just sit there and let me start taking your pictures. When we talk about brightness differences, we can never forget about intensity of light. Intensity of light refers to how bright a scene is, as I have mentioned in my previous video. More detailed in the video up there, watch, learn, understand. So we want to compare the differences between the white softboxes and the silver line softboxes in terms of brightness. When you pick the silver line softboxes, you have reflective surfaces, so all the lights that hit the reflective surfaces bounce out through the diffusion layer, hence providing more light, more intensity in the scene. Comparing that to the white softboxes, the white softboxes doesn't have a reflective surface. Yes, white bounces light back onto whatever it is you're photographing, but not as intensified as the silver because the silver is reflective, bounces all the light away. White will sort of absorb some of the light and reflect the remaining light onto whatever it is you're shooting, hence the decrease in the brightness. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video subscribe like share they said i should add 10 on post notifications so yes add peace out love lemony subscribe to my channel bye this one is blue pears maybe you are sad or you're drinking gary soakings you just laugh you know so like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and don't follow Joey. Follow me, <laughs> Lemony. <laughs> Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, before I forget, I'm supposed to give one of you guys a free softbox. So what I want to do, 
I mean, I have to figure out exactly what I want you guys to do just to win it. So it's kind of like a giveaway kind of thing, right? But of course, you'd have to follow Photo Place. You have to follow me. Do you want them to follow any of you? Yes. Right. I'm going to put everyone's handle down in the description box below. Follow each and every. Oh God, Jesus. Your girl is back. Follow each and everybody down there. Then look for further instructions on how to win this particular softbox. 